On a typical July day, things are quiet outside Capital University Law School. But inside, there's plenty of buzz. I think I need the weekend to like take a break. It's kind of an indescribable feeling. Until you're in it, until you're living and breathing it yourself, no one can prepare you for what it is. It's not finals. It's the bar exam. Law school is like a marathon, and then you finish the marathon, and immediately after they ask you to do a triathlon. Yvonne Twiss, the school's director of bar services, equates it to a longer and even more exhausting endeavor. Taking the bar exam is a little bit like birthing a baby. Both are experiences from 20 years ago that she'll never forget. While prepping for the bar, Twiss was pregnant with her first child. You'll never understand it until you join the fraternity of those of us who have lived it. And for as painful as the process may be, if reading through these makes you want to vomit, then don't read through it. <laughs> there's no simple way to take years of material, then cram and retain it for months. There's also no way to escape it. It's definitely with you from the moment you get out of bed to the moment you go to bed for a two month period. As for the process, some prefer a solo approach in their studies, while others pair up or do it in groups. Hey, good to see you. For me personally, the biggest help is I have one close friend that I study with and we've studied together the entire four years of law school and we know each other. It's routine, we can finish each other's sentences. What did I wanna look up? Um, the February 18 exam. While emotions will inevitably flicker. It's like I don't feel ready, but I also don't, no one feels like right here. The teacher is always there for her students. I have a box of Kleenex at the ready all the time in my office. And for all the evidence of agony. The biggest highlight is when this chapter of their legal lives is over. You hear horror stories about the bar, but it's worth it. I mean, this is a great profession. This is a great thing to do, and uh, you can really help a lot of people with a law degree and a license to practice law, so this is the price we pay for it. I'm Chaba Sukost for Court News Ohio.